All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Silver Sleuth here, and today I am joined by Mr. Chuck. <laughs> and today we will be doing the K 12 Science Grade 4 Unit, Unit 3, three. Lesson 1 Lab. This lesson is called Mixtures and Solutions. In this lesson, we learn that a solution is defined as a mixture in which the substances are completely and evenly mixed down to their individual molecules. We also learned that a substance is anything that contains only one kind of molecule. We also learned that a mixture is a combination of two or more substances that maintain their individual properties and do not go through a chemical change when mixed. Solutions can be made from combinations of gases, liquids, and solids. So, for today's lab, we need all of this stuff. That the magic of Mr. the Chuck's internet, lab. Chuck. Chuck's lab, has brought uh -huh. us. We have everything that we need right here. For this lab, called What's the Solution, you will need some water. Well, a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some pencils. You'll also need a spoon. Um, and it can, in it these can, cups, the spoon can be any size. Yeah, any size. It doesn't matter. Or anything to stir with, basically. In these four little cups, we have five milliliters of sand, which is one teaspoon, if you have teaspoons. Um, and then we also have um, five milliliters of powdered drink, um, sugar, and cooking oil. And we have a measuring cup and four plastic cups that hold eight ounces of liquid. Your experiment will answer this research question. Which substance, when mixed with water, will completely dissolve and make a solution? So right now we're gonna write our hypothesis. Mr. Chuck thinks that the um, powdered drink mix is the substance that will fully dissolve within the water and make a um, solution. So we're just gonna write this in the lines and we'll be right back. Procedure. Fill a cup a little over halfway with water. First thing we're gonna do is add the sand to the cup. Oh wow, I don't think that's going to dissolve. I'm going to mix this mixture for one minute. It is definitely not dissolved. We're going to repeat this three more times. It's about so that. now we are going to see if the baking oil or whatever. Cooking oil. Cooking oil will dissolve. Nope. <laughs> I, I don't think we gotta mix this. Oh yeah, this is not gonna dissolve. Right for your hypothesis. See, because there's oil right on this line, that's all oil, and then there's just water in the bottom. And it's not dissolving together, right? Yeah. And for something to become a solution, it has to dissolve. So, oh, wrong one. Now we have our, is this sugar? Yes. <laughs> So now we're gonna see if this dissolves. Ooh, that looks very good. Uh, this is not gonna dissolve. Rip your hypothesis. I'm starting to doubt that any of this will dissolve. And here we have that the drink mix. Oh. Oops, <laughs> don't do that. You're going to pour in the drink mix. Oh, that looks good. It's already dissolved. Oh, it smells good. Let me use the end of this. This top's polluted. Wow. This looks good. Oh, but this dissolved pretty quick. <laughs> this is horrible. Anyway, this definitely dissolved. All right. We're gonna do that so now that we've completed our test, we oh. are going to answer some questions. Remember that a variable is an investigation is an investigation, is something that is changed to see how it affects something else. What is the variable? The variable is a substance mixed with water. So the next question we have to answer is what effect will the variable have? Whether or not the substances make a solution. Wait. Next we have to draw pictures right here of the substances mixed with water after draw. the one minute period. For the cooking and oil, cooking oil and water, we're gonna draw a darker area to represent the oil and 
just a lighter area to represent the water. In the powder drink mix in water, everything completely mixed and everything dissolved to form a substance. Oh. As you can see in the sand and water picture, all the sand went to the bottom while the water stayed on top. And the same thing happened for the sugar and water mixture as well. <laughs> we have to work, next we have to work on our analysis. The first question is, which substances dissolved completely in water? How can you tell? Our answers were a little bit different than what the teacher guide said for this lesson. We only found that the drink, powder drink mix would dissolve, whereas they say that the sugar and powder drink mix should have dissolved. Here's their full answer. The sugar and powder drink mix will dissolve completely. You can tell because sugar and powder drink particles cannot be observed in water. Which substances did not dissolve completely in water? How can you tell? Once again, our answer was a little different. They say that only the sand and the um, sand and the cooking oil should not have dissolved, whereas our sugar, cooking oil, and sand did not dissolve. Here's their answer. The sand and cooking oil will not dissolve completely. Sand particles and cooking oil are still visible in the water. <laughs> the first question asks, Look back at your research question. Answer it here. Which substance, when mixed with water, will completely dissolve and make a solution? The sugar and drink mix will dissolve completely. Question six asks, look back at your hypothesis. Were your predictions correct? Well, my prediction was pretty much correct. Well, no, because the sugar didn't dissolve. Last question. After invest an investigation, you might have ideas for a new experiment. What other substances would you mix with water to find out if they dissolved? Salt, pepper, well, pepper would be weird. <laughs> um, vinegar, I'll list five. Um, dirt, <laughs> uh, fertilizer. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this lab as much as we did. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys all a little later.